What's the slope of that line? Negative two thirds. Negative two thirds is the slope. So, uh, Sarah, what does our slope have to be in our new equation? Three over two. Now, once again, Cosmo, do they give us a point that this has to run through? No, so I can use anything. As long as I have y equals 3 over 2x, my b can be anything. So, Jay, give me a b. 5. 5. Okay. Uh, Ty, give me another b. Y equals 3 over 2x plus 3. So, that's, I mean, anything will work other than... Uh, Six will work even, okay? That's just where they'll meet. So it doesn't matter. You can use anything as long as your slope is different. If your slope, when you multiply them equal negative one, your answer will be perpendicular. Any questions? Yes? Um, it, it, can't, it can't be the same as B though, right? No, the Bs can be the same when they're perpendicular. Because see, uh, remember, when it's perpendicular, they're gonna run into each other. Okay. But not on parallel. Not on parallel. They can't be the same. Now, um, so, uh, Lucas, what's our slope? Yeah, what's, what's, what is the slope given? Three. I mean, four, excuse me. I can't count it. Three is our slope, okay? They see what does our slope have to be? Okay. Negative 1 over 3 is what our slope must be. So we have y equals negative 1 third x. Now, Chloe, what's our b going to be? Four, anything. Anything, so give me anything. Um, 8. 8, okay. Four. 8, max 1 is 4. So we'll give him four. Okay. Questions? Any questions on that? Okay. Uh, on number five, Roscoe, uh, we need your help. Okay. Now, we're on number five. We have an equation. It, we need an equation that's parallel, but it must go through the points three, two. So tell us what to do. Um, so, what you first do is you replace um, x with 3 and y with 2, <coughs> and uh, replace 5 with b. Okay, so you said write y, which would be 2, equals 2 times 3 plus b. Okay, now I, I have a question for you. Uh, why didn't you change the slope? Because um, the slope would have, would have been two x. But why? Why didn't you change it? Because um, they have to be the same. They have to be the same when we're, we're looking for a parallel line. I know you knew it, but I need to make sure everybody else knows it. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, excuse me for all that. Excuse me for stepping on your lines. Okay, now. Uh, so, what do we do next, Roscoe? Um, multiply the uh, 2 times 3 to get 6. Okay, now, uh, Aaron, what's B? B is negative 4. Negative 4 is B. Okay, Edgar, what's our equation going to be? Y, y equals 2x plus five. Plus what? Five. Okay, now. Hey, I have a question. Oh, if I graph y equals 2x plus 5, I'll, you know, I graph it perfectly. Then I go and graph y, x equals, y equals 2x plus 5 again. Well, tell me about those two lines. 
Okay, so they beat us. Yeah, they'll be slow, slow. I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh no, it's okay for them to have the same slope, but what has to be different? Okay, the y-intercept must be different. So, what is our y-intercept? What? Where do you see a? Now you're confused. I'm confused. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna rewind. Now my first question is this: What is our p? Okay, so B is negative four. What is our par parallel equation to this right here? Y equals two x plus five. Give me a parallel equation. What? Minus four. Perfect. That's it right there. That's your parallel line. Okay. This one. Oh, I. Mark. Which one is on top? You have two lines. You have line B and line A. Which one is on top? You have one. Line B is y equals 2x plus 5. Line A is y equals 2x minus 4. Which one is on top? B. B is on top. Okay. Now, um, wow, we have the same problem. Now, we have 3, 2 again, and we need for it to go, to, we have the equation y equals 2x plus 5. Okay, now, Brian, what's different between 5 and 6? Okay, so with the perpendicular line, okay, um, tell me what to do. I'm wrong. I'm old, right? So tell me what to write. Okay. Give me a favor. I have this equation, right? What am I going to write under that equation? Okay. Three equals, I'm good, I'm good so far, equals three. Two. Two would make it a parallel line because the slopes are the same. Because the slope is two and you said the right two again. We want a perpendicular line. Negative one half. Okay. Yes. Why is two? Right. We can. So we have two and we have one half. Now, uh, Ryan, what is x going to be? Okay, now, um, now, what number do I put here? The b's not a number. Yes, it's a variable that represents a number, perfect. So now, we have our variable, now all we have to do is solve for it. So Cosmo, I need you to help us out. Uh, 
Four over two. Four over two. Perfect. We have four over two, and we have negative three halves and b. So we have that right there. We have four over two equals negative three over two plus b. What do I do next? Yep, I want to get B isolated, so. So, uh, you add 3 over 2 to 4 over 2. Okay, so you said add 3 over 2 to 4 over 2, which is? So I have 7 over 2 equals B. Okay, now, um, any questions on what he just did? So, uh, Aaron. Okay, now I need an equation. What's my equation going to be, Aaron? Um, y equals negative one half x plus y equals negative one half x plus seven x plus seven x equals two. Okay, now that is going to be number six. Okay, now um. On finding parallel lines, you have to find, what do I have to find? Uh-oh. Ty, what do we have to find? Um, if you're looking for a parallel, let's say I give you a parallel line, right? What do we have to figure out? Okay, M, and what else? And B. So, Max, did you hear what was just said? Yeah. Okay. To find parallel lines, you have to find M and B. Okay? Now, um, and on parallel lines, the slope is given, so there's really nothing to figure out. So, all you have to figure out is what B is. Now, on perpendicular lines, what do we have to find? The slope, okay. What will the slope always be? Okay. The negative reciprocal, okay. The negative reciprocal of the slope that's given to you. Okay, now, does anybody have a question on this right here? Okay, what I need you guys to do is get a book. And there should be a book here. Okay, I need you to open it to uh, three sixty. Okay, now on page 366, what I need you guys to do right now is 19 to 24. Yes, please do this on a separate piece of paper. Max, sit down. Max, sit down. You got a book. Okay, now, on page 366. Max, do you know what numbers you're doing? 36. No, you're doing 19 to 24. 366. Here we go. Put it up. Are we good? Is this homework? No, it's classwork. We're in class. Whatever you know. All? Or even yes, all of them. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs>